Born in Kansas, Missouri, but hailing from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Oshai Baji is a 6 foot 5 guard weighing 216 pounds with a 6 foot 10 wingspan who played his college ball at Kansas. Let's start with his shooting, because that's the area of his game that's most intriguing to me. He was white hot from behind the arc in his final season at Kansas. He's shown a lot of improvement from his freshman season and was a pretty good shooter last season as well. His free throw numbers aren't particularly good, but after two robust seasons of good shooting, I'm pretty confident it will translate. His threes are mostly of the catch and shoot variety and he's thus a serious off ball threat. He's got some good off ball tendencies and always has his hands ready to receive and gets his feet set quickly. He hits them from all over the court as well which makes him an even bigger threat from out there. His jumper is really nice and smooth and springy. Couple that with a lightning quick release and you can begin to see why he's been so efficient from deep. I really like his movement off the ball too. He relocates well and looks for open areas all around the perimeter to float into. This one I particularly liked. He initially sets the screen and then sends his man straight into another screen and then bounces out to the perimeter and nails those three. That's something you see the elite off-ball shooters at the NBA level doing. His ability to hit these off-movement is also impressive and will get scouts to set up a little more in their seats. This by the way is an insanely clutch shot. The mid-range club is also firmly in the bag. He's able to leverage his impeccable off-ball movement again to get into these spots. His shot is buttery smooth and really repeatable. He's also got this little runner too. He's also got some hops and was more than happy to get up a couple times to get on the end of these alley-oops. He's quick to identify when the paint is open and will make cuts like this to the basket. There is some potential for him to attack off the dribble there. However, I don't think he projects to be much of a primary ball handler. He's a decent passer. I wouldn't say he's a high level orchestrator or anything, but he can definitely handle it and make some reads. This is a nice play. He relocates to the corner and gets the ball. He fakes the shot and attacks the closeout, but doesn't fixate on the basket and analyzes the court for the best option and manages to find Jalen Wilson on his cut. Here's a similar one but from the left corner. Here he finds David McCormack for the alley-oop. And here's another one. He's a relatively switchable and versatile defender. He can handle smaller, shiftier guys reasonably well and has a big enough frame to deal with the physicality that comes with bigger guys. He's also a very capable off-ball defender. He's got some post-defense chops as well. His hops also mean there's a little bit of rim protection potential there too. Akbaji averaged over 30 points in a pretty big role for the national championship Kansas Jayhawks. He shot over 40% from 3 on 10.7 threes per 100 possessions. That's really good. And considering he shot 38% on 12 threes last season, 
plus an increase in free throw percentage so now it's at least at a decent level and i think we'll be pretty confident he will be at least a good shooter in the nba his 59.5 percent true shooting percentage is really good but a lot of that is because of his three-point shooting his 47.5 percent on twos was decent though his steal plus block numbers are slightly better than most of his peers in his class his playmaking numbers are below what you want though. His turnover numbers are also a tad bit higher than you'd expect for his passing output. Akbaji's story is very simple and that coupled with the fact that he's gonna be 22 when the season starts, you end up getting a guy who gets pretty much breezed past on mock drafts. Akbaji is a really good shooter and has potential to be a part of the upper echelon of off-ball shooters in the league in my opinion. His movement is second to none in this class, and he just hits shots all over the court. The rest of his game, barring the turnovers, show that he can hold his own outside of the shooting too. The star outcomes are not there, but I could say that for a lot of guys in this draft, and unlike them, he's proven he will almost certainly be a productive player in the NBA. A realistic flaw for him would be a good shooter who can do enough defensively and on the ball to be a starter for I'd say at least 60% of teams in the league. A realistic ceiling would be an elite shooter who can be slightly above average defensively and good enough at everything else.